before we get started with teaching different types of suturing, I want to teach how to tie the knot. The simplest way to do this is with an instrument tie. You simply pass whatever suture we're doing uh, into the skin, and when you're ready to tie it, what I'd like you to do is pull the suture all the way through, but leave a small short tail, uh, about a quarter of an inch, half an inch is plenty. So you'll have a short end and a long end. And we're going to keep this pretty simple. You take your needle driver and you're just going to simply place it between the two. Take the long end and then wrap it. You want to wrap it twice and then grab the short end and then pull the short end across the wound to the other side. And what that does is it locks the wound down. See how it sits there and doesn't move. For the next throw, I'm going to wrap the needle driver again. And this time just wrap it once. I'm going to grab the short end and pull it across, but don't pull up on it. You just want to tie it down until it gets down to the knot and then lock it down. Okay? Then simply put your needle driver between the two again, wrap it with the long side, grab the short side, and pull it across. So you're doing the same thing every time. The first time you're wrapping it twice, and that's called the surgeon's knot. And that'll lock it in place because what you don't want is you don't want the knot to be loose. You want your skin well approximated. So we call that an air knot when it's not approximated. So just to review one time, once your suture is placed, leave a short tail. Wrap the needle driver twice, pull the short end to the other side, locking it. Now don't pull up on it. Wrap just once around the needle driver, pull it back to the other side, lock it down. And now for your next throw, you can go ahead and wrap it once again and pull it to the other side. Now some absorbable suture, you may need to do it four times, but three times uh, for permanent suture, like the suture that comes in your kit, is fine. 